American political context for the United States is one in which we continue uh, to put partnership with Europe at the center of our foreign policies. We rely on Europeans for so much that we're trying to do all around the world. Uh, obviously, Europeans are going through some challenges with the financial crisis and elections, but the bottom line is, notwithstanding those challenges, Europeans remain our most important allies for dealing with uh, the challenges we face all around the world. A wide range of important foreign policy priorities for the United States. I think the, the one that's most relevant here in uh, Madrid to mention is the priority that the President puts on our partnership with our European allies. Uh, there's a misconception that the United States is somehow increasingly focused on the Asia-Pacific or the Middle East at the expense of Europe. Uh, in, in, instead, I mean, the, uh, on the contrary, because we face such challenges in other parts of the world, we need strong partners, democratic partners, partners who can contribute to our goals. And that's what President Obama sees in his European partners. That's why he spends so much time communicating with his European partners. That's why Secretary Clinton is constantly in touch with uh, the European allies and is about to make her 30th trip to Europe uh, of the administration because we're working so extensively with Europeans on Iran, Afghanistan, Libya, Syria, and so much more. Well, NATO uh, is critical to the United States and I think to Europeans as a place where we can pool our resources and be stronger as a whole than we could be uh, individually. And now NATO's contributions go well beyond what it does within Europe uh, to other parts of the world. What NATO is doing in Afghanistan is indispensable to our common security. NATO played a critical role in Libya in saving human lives and getting rid of a, a dictator. It contributes to, uh, to stability in the Balkans. So uh, it's a central part of our foreign policy, and that's why President Obama will be proud to host uh, the summit in Chicago in just a couple of weeks to consolidate this, uh, this common project. Well, we certainly have a great stake in the outcome of the European economic situation. Europe is our most important trading partner. Uh, it's the place that invests the most in the United States and receives our investment. Uh, so it's critical to our own economic success, and that's why we're very much engaged. Europeans are also those who do so much around the world in supporting development and humanitarian situations and contribute to our common defense. So it is a huge priority for the United States to work with Europeans on resolving the Eurozone crisis. Uh, it's a complicated issue, but I think I can say very briefly that we are encouraged by uh, some of the steps Europe has taken recently, whether it's the European Central Bank action or the measures taken by a number of governments, uh, including or especially uh, in Spain, but also in Italy and Greece and Portugal and Ireland, to consolidate their fiscal picture. Uh, the fiscal pact agreed by the members of the European Union, the uh, arrangements made with Greece, all of this, bit by bit, is contributing to a more sound economic future for Europe, which is in the interest of the United States. It's obviously a, a difficult and challenging time in the politics across Europe, and, uh, and the budget cuts that are being made uh, 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 impose sacrifices. There's no question about it. But we believe uh, that these are in the long-term interests of Europe and of European public. The, the point of these cuts and consolidations is to create jobs and growth for the future. And it's up to European governments to explain why these measures are necessary. Uh, we're happy to help them do that. We want to show our support. Uh, and I am confident that the majority of European citizens understand what is being done, why it's being done, and that it's in their interest. Well, uh, only the new French government, once it's sworn in, it's not even sworn in yet. Uh, once it's sworn in, only the new French government can tell you exactly what it's going to do in Afghanistan. All I can say is why it's important from the United States' point of view. Uh, for all of those NATO and ISAF allies who have committed to sharing responsibilities in Afghanistan, to uphold those responsibilities and stick to the plans that were agreed at the Lisbon summit and that we want to reiterate at the Chicago summit about continuing our operations as necessary through the end of 2014 so that we can hand off to stable uh, Afghan national security forces. And we will look forward to engaging with the Hollande government, you know, to give them time to, to take office and, and get in their positions, and then we'll look forward to speaking with them and hoping to come up with a, a common plan forward because France is a critical NATO ally and it's critical in Afghanistan.